So this is a quantity and value uh, concept question, okay? So let's see, yeah. Uh, by, by the way, do you understand what's the difference? What is a quantity value question? A quantity value question uh, is about things that has two elements. Uh, for example, money will have two elements, the number, the quantity, that means you're talking, if, for example, you're talking about coins. Coins has a quantity element, number of coins. Itself has a value. So this kind of question is a quantity value question. In this case, pens and erasers with a price is also a quantity value question. The number of pens, number of erasers refers to quantity. The price of a pen and price of erasers will be the value. So it is a quantity value question, okay? Typically a quantity value question, once you identify them, you draw a table to help you solve it, okay? So let's draw the quantity value table. This is P for pen, E for erasers. So quantity value tables goes, looks like this. So the first row, you indicate the quantity. Yeni bought twice as many pens as erasers. So I put two here and I put one here for erasers, okay? Value will be the price of a, a, a pen and the price of an eraser. The price of a pen is $1 and the price of eraser is 50 cents. These are all in the question, okay? Total value will be basically simply two times $1, one times 50 cents, okay? So two times $1, you get $2. One times 50 cents, you get 50 cents. So this is a quantity value table. So what does a quantity value table tells you? It tells you what is in one group, okay? You can look at a quantity value as a group. So this is one group and in that group, you, it consists of two pens and one eraser. And in that group, the value of all the pens is $2 the value of all the erasers is 50 cents, okay? So the quantity value table tells you what is a group. Okay, this question tells you that Yeni bought twice as many pens as eraser. So Yeni bought many groups like this, okay? Every group, two pens, one erasers. So many, Yeni bought many groups. The question is, how many groups did Yeni buy? Okay, how do you do that? There's a clue here. Look here. Yeni paid $4.50 more for the pens than the erasers. Notice this is the total difference between the value of all the pens that Yeni buy compared to the value of all the erasers that Yeni bought. Okay, so for total difference is $4.50. The difference in one group, the difference in one group represent the difference between the, uh, 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 the value of all the pens in one group versus the value of all the erasers in one group. So it is $2 minus 50 cents, 150. So I, earlier I was saying that Yeni bought many of these groups, right? And the difference within one group is 150. And all the differences in all the groups sum up together will give you 450. Now, the question is this. Number of groups. Natasha, tell me. How many groups are there? How do you find number of groups, Natasha? Sorry? Um... How do you find number of groups? Is it four dollars fifty cents? Is it divided? Yeah. By one dollar fifty. Yes, very good. So three groups. A good guess, huh, Natasha? Are you paying attention just now? I see you making a full time. Anyway. 450 is the total difference. And these total difference are made up of differences in each group summed together. And the difference in one group is 150. 
and all together, when you divide, you get three groups. Okay? So all together, Yeni bought three groups of this. Okay? Let me, let me just draw this out. Three groups of this. Okay? How many pens did Yeni buy? Joshua, tell me. How many pens did Yeni buy? Now that I know Yeni bought three groups, how to calculate the number of pens Yeni bought? Uh, six. How to get six? Three times two. Which two? This two, huh? Yeah. Not well, these two, huh? Is this two, okay. huh? Six. Very good. Six pens. Got it. Well done. Good job. 